In this video, I talk about zones, parking lots, basically for dynamic assignment, how can you deal with um, zones where you want to have like multiple parking lots. And this is going to be just the basics, just so you can understand the principles. And there will be another video where I go into the details, actually how to set up and how it works in detail. So in Visim, you can't have, like in Visum, for example, you can't define an area and just basically connect links and, um, and Visum will decide basically which one to use for vehicles to input or appear in the network, where to load the vehicles in and where those vehicles should go or which one loading points or connector they should use. So in Visim, you need to use a parking lot every time you want to load vehicles in and out. So this is only a representation, just an empty node used for nothing, not for evaluation, not for dynamic, not for meso. And when you have a parking lot, you always need to use, um, you always need to locate it between two nodes. So it sits on its own edge. You can't have multiple car parks on the same edge. For example, you can't put like another one here. And you can't have overlapping ones. So I can't do that if you see this one. It is used for dynamic. You can't have this one as dynamic. You would get an error. So it is quite simple when you have like one car park, another one. You just load the traffic in and everyone goes to that one. So I just loaded uh, 50 vehicles in. I put a little counter here. You see 50 vehicles cross. Easy. Also need to make sure when it is an exit or an attraction point, the relative flow must be zero. Otherwise you get an error. It needs to be set to zone connector, but you can use abstract car parking lot and real parking space as well with zones. Just when you use dynamic assignment, you usually use these car parks as not a car park, but more like a um, just a loading point or an attraction point. But again, you can use abstract parking lot that has a capacity, but represented by a single location, like a single parking lot. And you can set a capacity, so I don't know, set it to 500. You can represent the whole parking lot with it, like a, a huge car park with 500 spaces. Or you can just use real parking space. Um, and that can also be used with a zone, but that mainly used for trip chain files and not for matrices. So with matrices, you're probably going to use zone connector with a zone there. And here, when it, it, this needs to be greater than zero, here, uh, that relative flow when it is a loading point. That's fine, that's all good. But what happens if there is another um, link? And if you place another parking lot here, so if you want to have from one zone two locations where vehicle can exit, you must place another parking lot with the same zone number. And this relative flow figure will tell Visim how to split traffic. So what you can't do, this is zero, two. So what you can't do is you can't set it in up in any way that Visim will find, let's say, the best um, exit. So let's say this is a horribly long and and uh, complicated link like that i don't know very long with congestion whatever and then Visim will basically find and use that for vehicles to do it it will not happen in order that to happen basically um, you must use a single zone let me just uh, let let's just stay there and let me just show what happens here? So if you see the relative flow is one here, one there. If I run it, 
we will basically have a 50-50 split. If you put 2 here, this thing will basically add up, sum up, 1 and 2. So it will be 3 in total. And 2 thirds will exit or get loaded here and 1 third will be loaded from here. like that. So what you want to do, if you need to deal with a situation that Vizim can change it, so what you do is you remove that and you basically create a common point like that. And this way, Vizim will undertake a root search and that is when the next video will come in, how it will decide which zone to choose. <laughs> but if you want to keep things simple, you do exactly the same here. So you just basically merge these back in one and then Vizim will find the best way to that zone. You just delete that. Like that. That is the way I would do it. <laughs> that is the simplest. Uh, it has the least opportunity to make a mistake. <laughs> but what can happen? So, um, the next video I will talk about the situation which we just had here. So, what happens this? So, Vizim can can actually determine which destination parking lot to select and it is done using a lot of functions and a complicated algorithm. So that's why you shouldn't use this. If you want to have a control, a greater control, what's going on, the best is if you basically split this zone and that zone into two separate zones. So zone one, zone two, and the same zone one, zone two, and then you have a greater control. If you want to have um, if you want to allow for the root search to, for traffic to balance out between the zones, the best is to just tie all of them into one parking lot and then split the links away from it. And that will be the best you can, you can do, I think. Thanks for watching. Let's discuss in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and like. That would help the channel to grow. Cheers.